I look out at the Freedom Boat Club in North Davidson there and you can see that um, it's calm waters. Lots of clouds though over the sky and that's really been the theme here for some several days now. You definitely don't want to go chasing waterfalls, but you might have to. Yeah, we've got a lot of rain. We had a lot of rain this weekend, too. I was looking at some of the rainfall estimates, and in parts of Gaston County and even Mecklenburg County, we had 6 to 10 inches of rain in some localized spots in just 48 hours, and we are not done yet. By the time that this seven-day forecast is all said and done, uh, even by Thursday, we could see upwards of an additional three inches of rain. Now remember last week we showed you that drought monitor. I'm going to step out of this way, let them fix that shot. Uh, but what we're going to be looking at here uh, is that potential for up to three inches of rainfall by the time this is all said and done. Uh, we no longer are going to be dealing with drought conditions in parts of the Carolinas. I would imagine by the time that we are over with all of this. Temperature wise, we're going to be sitting in those upper 80s, low 80s by the time we get towards Thursday. Friday, we're looking at the mid 80s. That first alert in place on Thursday because we're expecting uh, increased opportunities for some rainfall heavy downpours at times even more so than what we'll have other days this week and then slowly but surely as we head towards the weekend ahead those rain chances are going to come down a little bit it's all thanks to a cold front that's going to move through and hopefully that'll push south high pressure will build in but we got a lot of time to watch that forecast in the meantime, we've got this front that's been stalled out over the Carolinas. It's nudged a little bit further to the north and west so far today, but it's still going to be the focal point for a lot of this activity. We've got this warm, muggy air out ahead of all of this with a lot of moisture in place. Now, right now, just seeing some light sprinkles there over the 321 and I-40 corridors, and then we got some heavy rainfall over the mountains. But I want to zoom in a little bit closer and show you where we have that potential for some flash flooding going forward. We have an isolated or level one out of four risk from Charlotte points north and westward today. And then our southeastern counties are that level two out of four risk, which means a scattered flash flooding potential. And we're just going to continue with at least an isolated or localized risk for flash flooding, at least through the middle of the week. Now, coverage today doesn't look as impressive as what we had in the overnight period last night and late evening last night, but certainly some additional downpours for our mountain communities with a few scattered showers and storms possible even outside of the mountains. We'll start off dry tomorrow morning and then additional rounds of rain will move through. We'll be tracking some heavy downpours by the time that you're tuning back in with meteorologist Lisa Viegas at 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Could be active on radar, which will be a similar scene here in the days to come. So we'll be watching this forecast closely. Keep that first alert weather app handy. We continue to send those flooding updates as they come in and certainly any warnings that are issued will be notified to you as well. Temperatures will top out in those upper 80s today. Eventually by later on this evening, we'll see those temperatures back down into the 70s. So below average today, we're expecting those below average conditions to continue through the rest of the week with the coolest temperatures actually by the end of the week as those rain chances go up. So low 80s on the way for Thursday, Friday, mid to upper 80s by Saturday and Sunday. And again, that's when we'll finally start to see these shower and storm chances, at least the coverage of them, start to decrease as we wrap up that seven day forecast.